Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter Neal and today our video is just for fun. I've selected um, a few metalware objects from the shop. Now I know where every one of them is and we're just going to play a game of do you know what the item is or what it's for and then I'll give you the answers at the end of the film. So this one is purely for fun. If you want to play, play along. If you don't, that's all cool too guys. So, should we get started? So let's give you a little look at this first piece. So, it's made of brass. Just for you to know. Okay, have we got that one? Right, feel free to put any guesses you want in the... Um, boxes in the comments and I will let uh, you know but you will get the answers at the end so this is a pair so it's two identical okay so it's almost Mickey Mouse hang on get rid of that one yeah. <laughs> so there you go and there's silver plate Nice little brass item here. Any clues yet? All right. Ah. Funny shape from them. They look like letter L. This silver plate as well. I wish it was silver, but okay. What about this one? Sterling silver set with coral and turquoise. Any ideas? Okay. I don't know if I'm going to do the answers in the right order, guys. I'm just going to pick them up and tell you where they all are. Okay, next one. How many of you are getting every one of these thinking, oh, they're easy? But they don't be easy for everybody. And as I say, this one's just for fun. Nick actually mentioned um, this item in the video he done when he came and visited the shop recently. And screws. And you have that inside. So, do you know what that is? Two pieces left, guys, and then I'm going to give you some answers. I want to hide the tickets. You don't want to be reading what they are, do you? My final one, a little Viking ship here. A nice piece of Danish solid silver. I'm shocked that didn't sell or hasn't sold yet, but hey ho. I haven't put it on eBay either, this one. So, how many of them have you got? Let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No winning anything, guys. It's just for fun. It's ten items here. How many do you think you know? Okay, shall we get started? We started off with this. So, this is a match holder and striker. So you'd strike this thread in going around here is to strike the match on and you'd put your matches in here and then you spent match on the tray. So we have a little match striker there. That was the first one. Then we had a pair of these. 
the knife rests, they would sit on your table and you'd put your cutlery on them or your knives on them to keep the uh, knife and that off the table. So a nice pair of silver plated knife rests. Some people do use them for pens but they, those particular ones are for knives. Um, I don't know what was next so we'll just pick them up as we go. Any ideas? Now this is a reproduction, it's not an original one. Um, they did make them during the early 20th century but this one's as I say a pastimes reproduction but it is a stamp box. So you'd put your stamps in there and you just take your stamp out. So we have a little brass stamp box. So how many of you guessed scissors for these? Well, it does make life a bit easy when it looks like that, but what scissors are they? They're for cutting grapes. They're the grape scissors. That's why it's got the L shape here. So you got a nice set of grape scissors. <laughs> Nick mentioned this one, so I'd be surprised if he hadn't guessed what that one is. You've got a little glass cut down. When you want to unscrew it, you scribe or scratch the glass. So you've got a little glass cutter there. This one probably had quite a few of you stamped. It's coral and turquoise inlaid into sterling silver. That, in the late 80s and early 90s, you'd have these overly shaped plastic gas lighters. The, the lighter would then sit inside this housing just so it didn't look so common and well, it'd look better. And that's exactly what that is. It's a cigarette lighter housing. I know. This one here is called a Vesta case. So we have your matches go inside and you strike them along the bottom. Very similar to what we have there except that's a portable version. This beautiful Viking ship is a salt. Back in the days when we used to have salts on the table and just take a pinch of salt out. So that's what that is known as, it's a salt cellar. And this final one is a candle snuffer and wick trimmer. So that would simply top your candle off. So that's it guys. So how many of you got all 10? And let's be honest now, no cheating. How many of you got all 10? <laughs> um, when I get some really, really unusual items, I'm probably going to do a live um, and we'll get a quiz going and we'll just have a bit of fun and I'll pull up one item and we'll have a little chat and a quiz and see who guesses it first. Um, Nick and Andrea do quizzes and that all the time. If you don't know their channel, Nick and Andrea Hills on YouTube, uh, every Sunday they sort of have a, have a bit of a quiz. Pop quizzes, things like that, and you win tat points and things. It's just for fun. Um, so I thought, yeah, why not do a little quiz every now and again when I get some curios in where the item doesn't speak for itself. It's no point me doing it with just the glass vials or just a bit of silver. It has to be something where the purpose isn't exactly obvious to see whether you get it. Anyway guys, as I've said, this was just a bit of fun. Just see how many you got right. Let me know how many out of 10 you got. Guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye for now.